Hey there, it's Steven from Crystal Tractor and Equipment. Today I'm out at our Ocala location and I've got with me here once again another one of our awesome Value Pack Toro models. Uh, in particular here, this is going to be our Time Cutter 42 inch. And uh, this mower is actually really value packed for homeowners who are on uh, small properties. It's kind of designed anywhere from uh, your standard quarter acre lot up to about a max of two acres. And we're going to go over this mower here, show you some of the features they included, the ways they kept it super affordable, and why it's going to be a great value for you. Let's have a look. So one of the things Toro did here to keep the cost down on the time cutter, they, they did a real no frills approach here. So they included some features that are going to be great for the residential use, um, things that make it easier to trim around your house and deal with obstacles in your yard. Uh, they did include a comfortable seat as well here and you've got a stamp deck on this version as opposed to some of the more expensive uh, heavy duty welded fabricated decks so for lighter use this thing's going to be perfect uh, in particular we're going to have a 42 inch deck width here um, it is dual blade so you're going to get a great quality of cut and then you have your discharge chute over here on the side now having a look here at the front of the mower we'll notice this nice wide open platform here with the step through front end. It's low profile, uh, has that nice opening there and gives you plenty of room to get through. And then you still have a little bit of race section here so that you can set your feet up when you're mowing. Uh, this seat itself is adjustable as far as fore and aft. Uh, you do have to just pick the seat up, adjust four little bolts, find your placement and set it back. So they did save a little cost there, but you still have the adjustments that you need. Now down here on the front, if you take a look at these caster arms for these front wheels, you can see these are a little bit different kind of in color and texture. These are actually designed out of magnesium and they're built in such a way that if you run into an obstacle with this mower, let's say you hit the edge of a tree or maybe the side of your house, uh, that's unfortunate, right? We don't want to do that. But in the event that that happens, these caster arms here are actually designed to crack or snap and be replaceable with just a few bolts rather than bending your frame and causing extra damage that you would find with some more heavy duty style mowers. Then down here beneath me, we also have this included storage cubby. So they made extra use of some of the space that was available back here. So you can keep your hand tools or maybe some gloves, anything else you might need while you're out getting work done. And up here on the left, we're also gonna have a nice convenient cup holder and another small item storage space right here. We'll also find the 42 inch deck here includes this convenient wash port. This comes with an adapter that plugs onto your garden hose, snaps right on here, and lets you turn your blades on to clean leftover debris and grass clippings out from underneath it, which is gonna help prevent rust buildup over time. Now over here on the right is where things get a little bit busier. So we have some extra controls on this side. Now starting up top, you'll have your traditional controls here. Of course, we'll have our key ignition and our blade PTO. Then we have our engine speed control lever here, our throttle lever. What's interesting about this is they integrated the choke into the throttle control lever. So when we bring the throttle control all the way to the top, we go just a little bit further. Now we've entered the engine choke and uh, we can go ahead and start that mower and just pull it right back like that. It's in full throttle and it's ready to go. Moving down here, we can see our transmission control levers. Now, a nice little convenience feature that you'll find on all time cutters is that the parking brakes are actually integrated into these control levers. So you don't have to go searching for an independent lever somewhere to get rolling. All you do is you pull your levers in and you go. It's that simple. And when you got to jump off, let's say maybe you got to go pick up a, a toy or something that got left out in the yard. Maybe there's a stick, some other obstacle. You just pull your sticks back to the neutral position and then punch them right back out and we're parked. Hop off, do what you got to do, and we're ready to go again. Now, over here on the right side, we're gonna have our deck height control lever. This is uh, gonna let you set the height in half inch increments, anywhere from inch and a half up to four and a half inches. Simply pull the handle down and uh, drop it to the height cut that you like. It's uh, very light too, it's very easy to control on this one, I like that a lot. Now, down here is, uh, gets a little bit more interesting and this is another feature that you'll find on all time cutters. And that's what Toro calls smart speed control. And what this does, it gives you three ranges for your hydrostatic drive. And those ranges are gonna be trim, tow, and mow. So each one of them is designed to give the mower an optimal speed for the task at hand. 
So in our mo position here, our, our rabbit position, this is gonna be when you're out in the open lawn and we're just doing, you know, nice easy cuts, uh, straight back and forth or around the edges. And we don't have a lot of rough terrain to deal with. Here in the center position, this is for towing. Uh, you'll notice all time cutters do come standard with a ball mount hitch in the rear. So we can leave it here to get a little extra control when we're towing any kind of, you know, little lawn trailers or other attachments. Up at the top, we have trim mode, and this is gonna be the slowest mode. This is designed for when you need extra control, either let's say, because we're parking the mower in the garage or the shed and we don't have a lot of space, or we're gonna be working around an obstacle like a tree, maybe the edge of the house, and we want to keep our engine speed at the highest setting, which is gonna keep our blade spinning at the highest speed, keep our quality of cut, but we wanna have more control over the mower. And this is also a great setting for new users. If you've never used a zero turn before, you can leave it in this setting, have a great quality of cut, but still have a little bit of extra control on the mower until you get used to the feel of it. And if you're wondering how much difference it actually makes, I actually have a little example here. I'll show you overlapped the difference between the three modes where we have our highest speed at seven miles per hour, our middle towing speed at five and a half, and our trim speed at four miles per hour. Moving on to the rear of the time cutter here, we can see some extra tool and item storage up here in the rear fender. And also, of course, the engine. Now, one of my favorite things about the time cutter 42, you would think maybe that going with a value oriented mower um, you're not going to get as much engine power as you might get out of something that's going to be more expensive. But with all the time cutters, there are a couple different engine options available. In this case, we have the Toro 452cc. You're always going to get at least 22 horsepower of engine output for these time cutters, which is awesome. So you're going to power through tough grass without any issue, and you're going to have all the power you need to climb hills or go up the ramps to get onto your trailer or anything. That's awesome. In addition, as I said there, we've got a standard ball mount hitch back here. So that means you're gonna have that extra engine power for pulling those trailers behind you or any kind of attachment that you need. Now over here on this side of the mower, we can also see how this more compact engine design is gonna actually make our maintenance easier. So whenever you need to access any components on this engine, there's a lot of space available here. Uh, then over here, we'll find the 18 by seven and a half inch tires. So you're gonna have plenty of grip, you know, to keep you going out there. And then we can actually pull our seat right up. So it is actually suspended on these springs, helps cushion your ride a little bit. And then down here is very easy access to our battery with a convenient wing nut that you can remove when you're not using the mower to save your battery life. All in all, what Toro managed to create here is an awesome value packed mower that cuts costs without cutting corners. And it can come in similarly priced and in some cases actually less than a more traditional style riding lawn tractor mower. So what that means is you don't necessarily have to be an everyday lawn care professional or a nuclear engineer to be able to afford one of these. Although if you are a nuclear engineer, it'll still do a great job for you. <laughs> but it's a great value for anybody who's looking to get into a zero turn for the first time and if you want to find out more about the lineup here of the Time Cutters or the Titan series, in fact, for Toro, we've got a great selection here at Crystal Tractor. So feel free to give us a call or swing on by and we'll see what we can do to help you out. In all, what Toro managed to create here is an awesome value-packed mower that cuts costs without cutting corners. And Thank you very much.